Hi, so in this video I'm going to show you how to attach a Google document to an assignment and decide whether students can view the file, edit the file, or receive a copy of the file. So first make sure you're logged into your Google Classroom interface, click on your classroom, click the plus sign, go up to create assignment, give the assignment a title, in this case it's features of a great speech brainstorm. Okay. Give a due date, come down here to your Google Drive, and this is where you will have a document that you've already created for your students to access. So let me access that by typing in features of a great speech. And then right next to that document, this is where you're going to decide how the students um, interact with that particular file that you're giving them. So Right now it's set to students can just view my file, so if I just have information that I want them to see and I don't want them to make any changes to the file or add information, I would leave it like that. If I click down and I go to students can edit the file, all the students would get the same file and they would all have equal access to that file and be able to edit the file. So this is almost like a wiki where everybody's contributing to the growth of one file. You could start with a blank document and have them add their own information in there. You could start with some information and have them edit that information as well. And then the third option that you have here is make a copy for each student. So for each student who opens up this particular document, they would get a copy of that document. They could type in that document, edit it, and then submit it for their assignment. This is great if um, you're giving some uh, students a template of what you want them to do. All students would get a copy of that template. They would be able to type inside that template and then submit their final answers for grading or for review. And that is how you attach a Google Doc and decide if students can either view a file, edit, or receive a copy of the file. If you have any questions, let me know.